The first time you see a Bengal cat roaming around someone's house, you're like, am I at the zoo? That's because this spectacular cat breed sports a spotted or marbled coat which is unique, very close to a white leopard. The Bengal cat's stunning white looks are drawing a lot of attention to the breed and with it, breeders that are trying to benefit from it. I don't regret for a second having chosen Mia as my adventure companion, but because I've been spending some time with her, I'm convinced that Bengal cats are not for everyone. Let's talk about some myths and truths about Bengal cats. If you're watching this video, it's probably not the first time that you're seeking information about Bengal cats. And if it is, welcome. I really wish that at least you have as much fun as I'm having with the journey. I got distracted. Let's get back to it. Well, so if this is not the first piece of content that you've consumed about Bengal cats, probably you have already read or heard that Bengal cats like water, that are hypoallergenic, that are extremely loyal, extremely smart. And yes, most of that is true, but there are some nuances. I would love to share with you my experience after sharing the first seven months with Mia. What I'm going to share with you are not absolute truths, it's a sample of one based on my own opinion. Bengal cats are hypoallergenic. Despite not sneezing like a maniac when in Mia's company, I still had allergies when I first got her. To the point that I even contacted a couple friends saying, hey, I won't be able to keep her. After four months, my allergies have almost disappeared, but at the beginning I had asthma-like chest compression. Every now and then I still have to take pills, but it's worth doing. When you have cat allergies, what you're reacting to is a tiny, lightweight protein called FELD1. This protein is mostly found in cats' dander, urine, and saliva. When cats groom themselves, they're for sheds, and with it, the allergy-causing protein. Bengal spore is short and pelt-like. Because Bengal's coat is so low maintenance, they spend very little time grooming themselves. Long story short, Bengal cats might be hypoallergenic, but they're definitely not allergy free. If you have cat allergies, I really recommend you to do two things before committing to the ownership of a cat. The first one, visit a doctor and see how bad your allergies are. The second one, try to spend some time with that cat itself. If that cat still doesn't exist because it hasn't born, maybe you can do it with their parents. Yeah, no scratches or anything. That's so good. Bengal cats are fond of water. I've heard so many times that Bengal cats like water. Well, Mia doesn't. It might change with time, but at seven months old, and despite she's attracted to the water noise, she will not touch the water with anything but her paw. What is true though is that Mia loves drinking straight from the tap and I've heard that some Bengals are even not drinking if it's not running water. So my point is, it's true that many Bengal cats like water but don't assume that because Bengal cats can like water, your cat is going to like it for sure. And I do know some Bengal cats that like water, so if you get a Bengal cat, don't be surprised if one of a sudden it appears in the shower or it jumps in the pool while you're swimming in it. Bengal cats are smart. From what I've seen with Mia, Bengal cats enjoy as much mental stimulation as they enjoy physical. They are an extremely smart breed and that makes them very capable of learning tricks and verbal commands. With only 7 months, Mia already knows like 6 or 7 tricks and she's very fast at learning new ones. If you want to check them out, you can click on the video. I don't know where it is. You can click on the video and check it out. There's a short video, 2 minutes, where I showcase every trick that Mia has learned so far. Teaching your Bengal cat tricks, it's not only fun and a great way to amuse your guests, it's also a very nice way to improve the communication with your cat as well as strengthen your bond. If you wanna see more, click here and see the full show. Bengal cats are destructive. Bengal cats are high energy and they are very demanding when it comes to physical stimulation. Their energy accumulates and if you don't help them release it, yes, they can be destructive. Bengal cats are very loyal. Bengal cats are desired in part for their personality. 
Bengal cats are also very desired for their personality, which makes them very friendly to humans as well as other pets in the household. In particular, Bengal cats are famed for being very loyal to one specific person in the family and becoming very attached to them. Now that doesn't mean that they're not going to be friendly with anyone else in the household. However, there's a high chance that your Bengal cat is going to become particularly committed to one person in the household. In my case, I live alone and I don't have the experience of Mia sharing a household with other people, but I can say that one, Mia is extremely loyal and she follows me around the house. Two, she's also great with people that come visit. If you want your Bengal cat to be social, I highly recommend you that you socialize your cat very early on. If you expose your cat to people from very early on, your cat is going to get used to people and your cat is going to be fine with people around. Some cat owners be like, oh my cat hates people! Come on, you had your cat closed in a household for five years without meeting anyone, absolutely, it's going to be terrified as soon as someone enters into their territory. But if you've been exposing your cat, your cat has high probabilities of liking other people. Okay, said this, Bengal cats, yes, they are loyal, but I would say that they are beyond loyal. They are attention seekers, and if you're ignoring your cat or you're not paying attention to your cat, you might just find your cat hanging off your back just to let you know that they exist, that they are present. Bengal cats are good with other pets. Again, Bengal cats tend to be good with people and other animals, but you need to train them and you need to do it properly. From my own experience, I could personally introduce Mia to other pets and many of my friends and I've never had a problem. I'm lying. One time. But the other cat was an asshole. The way you introduce two cats can have a long-term effect in the relationship that those two cats are going to have in the future. So take it gradually and do it properly to increase the chances of long-lasting friendship. Or at least that they tolerate each other. If you want to know more about how to introduce your cat to other pets, consider watching this video. To summarize, don't get a Bengal cat if what you're looking for is a sweet, gentle lab cat, a living sculpture that requires little interaction. But if you go for a Bengal, know that they make great loving companions that can be a little demanding at times. They are healthy, robust, and respond to play, quality food, and interaction. They are smart, and they will let you know it. And yes, they are unique and beautiful. I really hope you liked the video. If you liked it in any way, if it was informative, entertaining, give it a thumbs up. It helps other viewers know that it's worth watching, and it helps me get to more people. Thanks for watching. See you out there.